Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to shop my wardrobe and share with you some outfits that are inspired by images that I've saved over on Instagram. I tend to use the platform as a bit of a way to catalogue different outfit combinations or even just colour combinations that are really inspiring me. And I've seen a lot of my fellow YouTubers film videos like this, Anna from the Anna Edit, Senia from Useless, Elizabeth Tempo, and also Christina from Style Apotheca. So I thought it would be a really fun way to kind of partake in that. And I'm going to link all their channels down in the description box below in case you would like to go and check them out. So I'm going to dive right into it and also quickly want to apologize for the lighting. I might just turn it down a little bit. It is very cloudy today and it is just wreaking havoc. And I've tried to film this intro about 10 times already. So I'm going to try soldier on and get through this very quickly. So the first outfit is inspired by Brittany Bathgate and I have to say I absolutely love every single outfit that she shares. <laughs> she... <laughs> That's right, you love it too. Um, she has just got really timeless, very cool, chic style. Everything she wears is very sort of minimal and very considered. If you've ever watched one of her What I Wear in a Week videos then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about but she puts a lot of thought into the details of every single thing that she wears. So the outfit itself is very simple. It's all items that I know I've got in my own wardrobe. So a striped top, sort of straight leg jeans, a Mac, and then also black boots. Uh, but I feel like it's just the way she's paired them together. It just really works and isn't something I probably would have thought to wear myself in that exact styling. So the top that I chose to go for to kind of replicate this outfit is from Uniqlo. And this is one of the menswear uh, pieces that I have in my closet. I find that the men's section is great for oversized fitting tops. I've got this in a size small which I feel is a really good fit on me. It's boxy without being too boxy. Um, I find a lot of women's styles that are this sort of a fit tend to be more cropped so this is kind of a really nice long length good for tucking. Then the jeans that I went for aren't quite as wide throughout the leg. They're the Eveline Cheeky Straight but they're pretty similar. These have a bit of a slimmer profile to them but I figured they would give me the same look and they do expose a little bit of my ankle as well which I really like from a styling perspective. The jacket I went for, now I chose not to go with my classic trench coat which is this one here from M&S just because she was wearing a Mac and I really wanted to get that same vibe so I went with this one here from Kind Salmon which is a little bit more cooler toned and a little bit lighter than the one that Brittany's wearing but I think it gives off a similar vibe so we've got these really exaggerated sleeves which I love and then finally the shoes that I went with are my Midas boots. Now I noticed that the ones that Brittany's wearing have more of a rounded toe. I don't actually have anything like that. So again, just went with sort of what I had and these were the closest bet. And these also were the ones that I have that come the highest up my foot. So I thought they would be the best ones to try and get the same look as Brittany. And I really like the way this outfit turned out. I couldn't see what bag she was wearing. However, I think at the time it probably would have been her Acne Masubi bag in the sort of chalk white color. But Really love the way this outfit turned out and definitely one that I can see myself wearing. It's very kind of attainable, easy, effortless, chic for sure. Now outfit number two was more of a spring summery sort of a look and it was very much heavily focused around a monochrome outfit, a nude blush toned monochrome outfit. Now I don't really have a lot of those colours in my wardrobe so I decided to kind of pair back a more pink piece with nude or white basics in my wardrobe. So the first thing that I did was I grabbed this white and other stories tank. I feel like it's got a very similar vibe being kind of a boxy fit. It's not quite as wide across the shoulders however it does sort of give me that same sort of a feel uh, and definitely very spring summer appropriate. Then the skirt that I went to pair it with is one that I really want to wear more often especially this year it's from Willow and this was a pre-love purchase that I made. It has is this most fabulous coral color and it's just got a really nice weight to it. I love the way that it fits as well having that sort of tulip style uh, silhouette to it. Then for shoes I went with my nude Tanya by far sandals. I will say, and I've said this before, I don't think that these are the most practical shoes. They do kind of slip off your feet. I do think they're absolutely beautiful, but they're not ones that I find practical for wearing walking a long distance. However, they look great with that skirt and with the tank. Uh, and yeah, I do think they really finish off an outfit well, but 
definitely a shoe to wear if you're not playing on walking a lot. So I just wanted to give a very honest opinion on these for anyone who have been thinking about buying a pair for themselves. Then there are a lot of accessories with this outfit. So the first thing that I did was grab a basket bag. This one's actually from Mango and is a really incredible dupe for the lower there basket bag if you ask my opinion. I really love the colour of it and again I think it pairs really well with those sort of neutral tones that I've opted to go for for this outfit. Then for jewellery I just went for a simple gold chain um, necklace and then I also have a thicker one from Missima. I'm also wearing a watch on my wrist that is from Rosefield and then I have some sunglasses and the ones that I'm wearing are from Portrait. They are the metro style. I don't own any Ray-Bans so for me I just thought these would be a really nice option. Great way to kind of finish off the look and I like the fact that this particular pair has a tortoise shell print to it so it is a little bit more interesting and feels a little bit more elevated than an otherwise sort of basic style. So that, that is the next outfit and I really like the way that it all kind of came together and it really is something that I personally would reach for and wear. <laughs> Sorry, you have to forgive me. I'm uh, filming with my assistant today, so you may be able to hear him every now and then in the background. Now, outfit number three, I'm just going to quickly bring it up on my phone, is uh, another sort of more autumnal outfit. And honestly, I love this girl's Instagram. She practices a capsule wardrobe and all of her outfits are on point. I swear there is not one that I do not like. I love the colour combinations that she comes up with as well, just genius and her out, her style just never feels boring. So she wore this outfit where she's wearing a black tank with some distressed dark blue sort of straight leg jeans, some black strappy sandals and then she has a checked blazer on. Now. I didn't quite have any distressed jeans that were that same sort of a colour so I took a bit of a liberty with the jeans uh, and I have to say I didn't end up loving it on me as much as I did on her and I think it comes down to the colour combo but I'll quickly run through the items that I decided to choose to sort of replicate the outfit. So first up is the tank and the one that I went with, hang on. <laughs> got a Fiona hanger here, <laughs> is this one here from Everlane. It's got a dipped neckline, which I really like. Um, hopefully you can see, because I know I'm going to have the outfits here. Um, hopefully you can kind of get a sense for it, but it's got a dipped neckline, very nice and breezy. It's not super fitted or anything like that, so I really like the way that that one looks on. I thought it was a very good sort of option for what she has. And then for the jeans, the ones that I went for, you'll see are a very different wash. These are from Arquette. And they're sort of a vintage blue wash. I, I adore these jeans. The quality of them is exceptional. Uh, I just think they feel very vintage for sure. Just even the actual feel of the denim itself. Uh, these have more of a mid-rise. And I think I would like them even more if they were a high-rise. Um, but yeah, I just thought that they would be a good option. If, as they had a similar fit through the leg. And sort of felt like they had that same kind of a vibe. Uh, is the photo. Now the jacket that I went with is from Alex Mill and this is a similar sort of a blend plaid style jacket. Um, I did find that I didn't actually love the way that this jacket looked with the outfit so I ended up swapping it out for my black Babaton blazer which is just a really good essential sort of a basic piece. But I think that this particular blazer works a lot better with darker jeans because I have styled it with my old Dr. Denim's and it looks amazing with those. So I think that was kind of where I went wrong with this outfit. Now for the accessories, I did wear just a simple uh, ank necklace. I don't have a cross necklace, so I wore what I had that was a little bit similar. And then for the bag, I saw she was wearing her, one of her Poland bags, so I went for my number one. This is the original style in the black leather. And then the shoes that I was wearing are these ones here from Joe Mercer. These have pretty much the same sort of look to them as the sandals she's wearing. However, mine, I believe, have a much higher heel to them. So they're not the most practical ones for me to wear every single day. However... Uh, I do think they really elevate an outfit and they look incredible with jeans. So that was the third outfit and I think out of all of them, this is probably the one that's least representative of my own personal style. I do really love the way that it looks on Ewelina, I believe that's how you say her name. Um, but I didn't really like the way that it translated with the items that I have in my closet. So perhaps a silhouette that I've got to sort of play around with a little bit more.
The final outfit that I wanted to draw inspiration from is a picture from Nan and Vintage and this was one that I saw and just got really excited for the upcoming spring summer season because it kind of in incorporates a few of those warmer weather pieces. So in the image there is a white blouse with sort of blouson style sleeves, it's collarless and it's just unbuttoned a few buttons down. There is also a gold pendant on, on the model and then she's wearing some black shorts. So to replicate this myself, now um, obviously there was no bag or shoes, I did decide to go for some shoes that I had in my wardrobe that I thought would work with the look. The top that I went from is this one from Matin, which is an Australian brand. This is sort of a very gauzy kind of a style top, huge oversized sleeves. It does have a bit of a sheerness to it and then it's got these uh, stringy bits <laughs> in the front, not the most technical term, uh, and it is very, very long, very oversized. Then the shorts, oh my gosh, I was so excited to pull these shorts out. If you have been following me for a while, then you may recognize them. They are my Philip Lim high-waisted shorts with the photo leather belt at the waist so I thought that that would make a really nice pairing and kind of give a very similar vibe and then for the shoes I actually just went for my little slip-on slides which where have I got them down here they are my Nisolo tan slides I've been wearing these a lot and while I definitely do think that they're more suited for those who've got a narrower foot they do give over time and they've worn pretty well so far <laughs> so I really like the way that this outfit turned out. I do think that maybe I might want to finesse it a little bit with how I've tucked in the top and... <laughs> and also pair it with some sunglasses, maybe go for the straw bag as well, but just a really good kind of an outfit that'll get me towards the summertime. Very easy breezy, something that doesn't really require a lot of thought. And I think it would also look great with a black blouse as well. And I do have a black version of this matin blouse as well. So I could kind of go opposites and do the black blouse with white shorts. And that's definitely what I'm going to be banking for the summer months. So those are the four outfits that I wanted to share with you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was really fun to kind of shop my closet and see how I could potentially replicate these looks for myself and also whether or not they would work for me and my personal style. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this one uh, and I'm sorry it's a little bit disjointed. It's been really difficult with the changing sun and I have had the biggest distraction in front of me this entire time but I do hope that you liked it nonetheless and I would like to know which your favourite outfit of the four was down in the comment section below. Please let me know uh, and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye for now.